So this is Kanga. I'm sure some of you have seen him before. And this is Saskia from Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue. Hi guys. So today I want to talk about a very serious subject and one that needs to be discussed. When do you know that the end has come? Okay? And when do you know when it's time for your guinea pig to pass on? To help your guinea pig pass on? And it's a very sad subject and it's it's, it's, it's hard for me to even talk about it because it's just so traumatic to even think about, you know, that is, but it's what's going to happen to every single one of us eventually we pass away and that is a given, right? And so we have our pets and we are responsible for them and we are responsible to do the right thing. But what is the right thing? That's the big problem and a lot of people just don't know when it's time. We've had people come here with borders that really ought to be put to sleep and, and we ask, you know, can we get a second opinion from the vet um, because we weren't quite comfortable taking care of these animals when they were in a lot of pain. Um, so we see it a lot. We see animals that people are not quite aware that actually should be, you know, put to sleep because of the pain level and, and, and whatever is wrong with them. It's just, it's just not fair. So it's really hard to determine how and when when to, to make that decision, okay? So, and it all depends on what is wrong with the guinea pig. You know, if you have a boy guinea pig, if you are not going to do the surgery and he has stones and he's got, you know, every time he goes wee and he just like lifts up and he squeals when he's peeing, that is something you should consider. Perhaps that would be, you know, a candidate. Maybe now is the time for him to not be suffering anymore. Um, I've had a guinea pig with a terrible calcified bulla on both sides who couldn't even walk anymore. He was just falling over. Um, the x-ray had showed that the bulla, that the calcification had really gone outside of the bulla and was just kind of like roaming around in the head. Um, the owner was not willing to put him down yet. And um, I tried talking to her, but she wasn't having it. It's, it's really tough. And these are all personal decisions, you know, you have to make. And I always tell people, you got to go by your gut. You will know when time has come. Okay. And if you are not sure when that time has come, if you really have a hard time figuring out, is my guinea pig suffering at this point? Or is it okay to have him with me a little bit longer because I love him so much? Then ask your doctor because the veterinarians will be able to tell if time has come. Now, there are some vets who will do everything in their power to try and keep your animal alive. And that I don't agree with either, you know. A lot of that is, I'm not sure why they're doing that because sometimes it's obvious that the animal is really should pass over. Um, so you just, uh, you you know, talk to, your, talk to your vet. That's a good one. And listen to your heart. And look at your guinea pig. If it's just sitting there, if it's in pain, if you're giving it pain medication, but it's still not really improving, um, if the guinea pig's not really eating anymore, if it has chronic teeth issues, and you're, you know, it's it's really emaciated, it's lost a lot of weight, and 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 you're 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 keeping it alive with syringe feeding, that is also not that that's not acceptable either because syringe feeding is something that one should only do to have the animal go over uh, a certain period of time while it's sick and then it should be able to take over eating by itself. So if you're gonna have to do syringe feeding for like longer than two, three weeks, if it's to do with teeth, teeth, teeth issues, then I personally do not believe that that is right, that the animal should eventually start eating by itself because you cannot just 
they're not going to get enough food from the syringe feeding. They're going to start losing weight. They're going to start emaci becoming more emaciated. The, the body is going to start shutting down. The organs are going to shut down slowly, slowly, and you're watching it. And your love for him is at that point keeping the animal with you, but is it fair? And those are questions you need to ask. And I know there was no videos about this and it's a really hard subject. And again, I gotta just really say that you really have the answers in your heart. You know this. So you really wanna just connect with yourself and listen for a minute. Just take a moment to sit quietly and to ask, ask yourself the question. And then you will you will get your answer, okay? And that's what I really, really believe in. So Kanga here is very healthy, and we do not have to make that decision for him yet, which I'm very, very happy about, right, Kanga? He's one of my Buddha boys. But I just thought I'd bring this up and start the conversation. It's a really, really tough one, okay, guys? So leave your comments. I'll be happy to answer questions in the comments as well. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, guys.